attacking the basket and get layups around the rim. That's how you score consistently. He healed. Fires away for two. Rebound handled by Lee. Shot clock says 12. Lots of room there. And Marco Bellinelli with the jumper. A three-pointer. Hey, they have just gotten steamrolled here tonight. This offensive execution has been fantastic. The defensive intensity, not good enough to stop this offensive juggernaut. Nice soft touch at the rim. Johnson. Nash choosing the screen, looking to get free. It's a loose ball, and it's stolen. There's the pick. Oh, he beats the defender. Ball comes loose, stripped away, stolen by Johnson. And now he moves around the defender, gets it to go. Philadelphia's up by 25. At halftime, they had to make offensive adjustments, and they have. And they have come out and put on a great show offensively. Harder against Bellinelli. Oh, excellent screen. Dumps it off beautifully. Johnson the rebound. Lee's looking to post up. Forced to make the pass. He is just so dangerous when he's left open for that catch and shoot. Yeah, just absolutely terrific form on that shot. It starts in his feet all the way up through the follow through. Great pass to the rim. Nice adjustment. Sacramento's in need of a big time defensive stop here. They work it around the perimeter. Good setup with the entry pass. Wide open for three. And Marco Bellinelli with the bucket from downtown. And Sacramento calls a timeout. They need something to go right pretty fast. You use your timeouts differently in the second half than you would in the first half. You're much quicker in the second half to pull the trigger on a necessary timeout. Coaches going to the bench right now and making some changes. Ball loose again. Good play. Gets the steal. Johnson for two. Part of the rebound. To Labissier. For the layup. Won't go. Misses on the backer. Hey, that's a team playing the score, not the game. That's too easy of an attempt, even though you have a big lead. Simmons looking to get free off the screen. Perfect entry pass. Backing his way down in the post. Nails it. That's a two-pointer. And it's a 32-point lead for the Sixers. And as this game has gone on and progressed, they have become more and more efficient offensively here in the second half. Absolutely dynamic offense. Nine left on the shot clock. Ball knocked out of his hands. And there's a steal. No 
place to go. Excellent ball movement around the perimeter. Bosch is looking for the screen to get himself open. Puts it up from three-point range as the shot clock goes down to two. To heal. He loses control of it, and the ball is stolen. To Reddick. Gets inside. Nash for two, lets it go. Just won't go for point-blank range. To Labissier. Green set nicely. That pass picked off by Bosch. Puts up another shot. Nash misfires again. Two and a half remaining in the fourth. Sacramento's down by 32. Fox is trying to get free off the pick. Sloppy ball handling. Oh, he gets the steal. Still plenty of time, 12 seconds on the shot clock. There's the switch. Simmons. He shoots. Lapissier, the rebound. To Fox. He curls. From the corner, a three-pointer, and Vince Carter with the jumper. Puts it in. Whistle blows. Timeout here late in the fourth. This is where a coach and his best player earns his money. Great timeout. Now come out and design a play to get your best player his best shot in his best spot. Coach think it's time for a change. We're going to have some substitutions right now. Simmons. Sweet entry pass. MB can't connect from close range. Good offense once again. Got the ball into the paint and to the basket. Just missed it. Pass to the corner. To Randolph. Gets it off. That's a two-pointer. And Chris Bosch with strong D to contest that shot. That's the story of the night right there. Time and again being denied at the basket. Ten seconds now on the 24. <laughs> Here's the screen. Shot clock down to two. That's from downtown. That one halfway down before popping out. To Carter. Eleven seconds remaining on the 24. To the rim. Simmons the rebound. Good win. Just dribble out the clock and celebrate in the locker room. Oh, excellent screen. Put 
Lifts it up from downtown. J.J. Reddick with a perfect delivery. That one in and out. And this contest is over. The final score is 106 to 74. For Jeff Van Gundy and our entire EA Sports crew, this is Mike Breen saying thanks for joining us and good night. game wrap up the 76ers put on a show and a blowout the scoring display they put on is gonna be hard to forget it's hard to imagine anyone doesn't come away impressed with how effectively they score their points what you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Philadelphia 76ers The Kings really lost big in this matchup, and you could tell it was tough on them. And every team in this league loses games. You just don't want to lose them like this. I can already see a players only meeting in their future. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Sacramento Kings. Game track, steals. Here's a look at the game stats. Player of the game. Being able to put up these kind of numbers is always impressive, but having the ability to lead and inspire is something special. And for the stat geeks, here's a look at his numbers. Who was cold? What can you say about a guy like this? Except that he fits the title of this segment. He was definitely cold in this game. Here are the top three plays from the game. Number two. Number one. And here are the games scheduled for today. Here's a view of the Western Conference standings. Here are the upcoming games for the Sacramento Kings. And that does it for our post-game wrap-up. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. Thanks for joining us.